this example, we stop it. Our question is, what is three fourths of an of a number is sixteen? What is that number? So essentially, when we're asked this type of question, always remember to have a variable in mind because that number uh, you can set as your variable when you're solving because you have to solve for that number. So three fourths of a number that a number is going to be a variable i like to use x but you can use any it doesn't matter which one you use um so three fourths you really have to read the question and see which um what they're trying to say so three fourths of a number which means three fourths is being multiplied by a number which we don't know so we're just going to label it as x is 36 which means it equals to 36 so this, initially what our function or our thing to solve for is 3 over 4 x is equals to 36 now all we just have to do we have our equation all we have to do is isolate for x and isolate and solve for x we can do that by multiplying 4 on each side to get rid of this 4 at the bottom so whatever we do to one side, we have to do the other side times 4. That gets canceled out. We're left with 3x is equals to, in my calculator, 36 times 4 is 144. Now, to get rid, of, get rid of the 3 and get x alone, we can divide each side by 3. And we're left with, this gets canceled out, and we're left with x is equal to 144 divided by 3, which is 48. Now, we can try solving. We can always, it's good to verify your answer, so we can put in x in our equation that we have above over here and see if we get 36. So what we can do is 3 divided by 4 times it by your x value over here, which is 48. When we do that, we get 36, so we know that our x value is correct. That would be our final answer. So those are all the questions that we have for today. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Um, this was Shanae's and see you on the